hello students welcome so this class we will see exercise uh, number 2 from week number 5 week number 5 yeah, hexagonal pyramid it's having base hexagon means having six numbers of sides okay pyramid in the sense that top will be a point okay sides of base is 25 mm all sides is 25 mm and axis is 50 mm long rest with one of the edge of its base on hp its axis inclined at 30 degree to hp very important point 30 degree to hp and parallel to vp so the axis is inclined okay so for that we just supposed to draw the change of change of position method we will use to draw this hexagon so i just give uh, this one you just consider this as a hexagon it's having three faces instead of the six numbers of faces it's a pyramid okay on three numbers of uh, pyramid so this is this is base this is base edge this is edge okay this is apex this is base this is also a call it as a edge what they are saying here it's rest with one of the edge so this edge it is rest in the horizontal plane it is going to rest see it is going to rest with one of its edge this hexagon will going to rest with one of its edge okay and uh, the base on hp it is base on hp the axis is inclined 30 degree to hp and parallel to vp draw the projection it's a simple we just draw the axis line first so let me draw one axis line let it be x y let it be vp hp hence initially we need to draw the hexagon hexagon sides is 25 mm that is uh, no problem with that if i draw here it will go here okay let me draw from here so let me draw the side is first so if you are making like this there will be a the base finally what is the edge one of its edge okay edge of its base so this also you need to see only one i have seen it is wrong actually the edge of its base edge of its base in the sense the hexagon this one this edge of its base so it is standing like this standing like this it is standing like this it is just going to going to make it till this position this is a top view that i am showing okay front view these two we just going to draw that is for that we need to draw the simple position first so it is base rest on hp in the sense you can draw directly so when you need to draw the hexagon you know the procedure by exterior angle method it must be 60 let me draw somewhere this side you know from the first class we have seen geometrical construction in that exterior angle method it must be 60 degree that you know already so it's supposed to be 25 either you can use compass or for time being i'm making the scale so let us use compass that is good okay so 
it will be so we have identified so to draw the text again you can erect a two vertical line it is almost parallel okay So keep these two points which you have discovered now as a center and intersect those point. So now the hexagon is ready. It's a hexagonal pyramid. Okay. Now hexagon is over. Okay, fine. Now we need to identify the center. Center must be it must be here. Okay, fine. So you're supposed to connect all the edges. The two also will give you the center. Let us check my center. Almost it is correct. Okay. Connect all the edges that will meet at the center. Okay. So this is a access point or apex. It is O. So let us give the name before that the dimensions. Twenty five mm, and uh, we just properly give. So this direction we just going to see. Okay, so it's very simple. We just start the alphabets as bottom. A, B, C, D, E, F. So center is apex is O. So we have these are all the base edges and this one is a apex. So this is considered as O and this is A B C D E F. Okay. Now erect a vertical line. And narrate the axis line. The height is 50 mm long. So this may be O, let it be O dash and connect all the points. So when you are seeing from this direction, this direction, this direction, the pen hexagonal, sorry pentagon it's coming here, yeah? hexagonal pyramid will be looked like this, okay. So when you are seeing F you can see E is behind. So F dash E dash in bracket. You can see A dash and D dash in back side. I will put D here. Similarly here B you can see first when you are seeing from this type. So B dash C dash in bracket that is hidden. Okay now the pyramid is ready now we just going to change the position. How to change the position? It's based on HP that we have finished up to here. We have finished for a simple position. Now its axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP. Axis means what? This line. This line is inclined 30 degree to HP. So height of the axis only is specified. This is 50 mm. So we have drawn two diagrams. First top view first front view that is second okay so first top view first to front view that is first diagram and this is second diagram third diagram is a change of position it is 30 degree incline so we need to make the axis just 30 degree incline let us take uh, this much distance I make one line 
which is 30 degree. This is 30 degree insufficient. Mm. Mm, okay, I'll fix here. Okay, let me fix here. Oh, I don't have. I'm not having that much space. Let me fix here. So let us make. So this is thirty degree. So now there is a problem to fix its base. So here we have started 30 degree axis line, axis line. So B dash and C dash will come here and F dash and E dash will be in this corner. So from here to here it is F. So we need to locate this point perfectly. You have to measure this one for that. Just measure. It is almost 2, 2.1 it is coming. So we need to place a normal line here. So for that what to do? Mm, 2.1 is coming. So this must be the normal line. So we need to identify this point. So what do if it is 30, this must be 60. And this is 90. So what we can say this side we keep 60 degree. Okay, if it is 60 degree, that maybe gives you a normal line. Let me measure to locate the perfect perfect point. So almost almost it is coming in this point. That's 60 degree. So I just make the normal line so it must be 2.1 yeah most of this 2.1 so this direction also 2.1 fine okay okay so now this length is 50 mm You don't need to use scale, you can fix here. There is some other one second. Okay, let us fix here and connect those remaining points. Okay, so this is 60 by the calculation you can understand. So this is a hexagon of change of position. Now we know this is A dash and in bracket is D dash because same B dash and in bracket c dash this is f f dash and e dash okay this is o let it be o sir. this is a third diagram third diagram is a final front front view 
now we so inside this d and a is there so this is not required this is not required so hence we can need not to show the access line since the edge is available here so now the same principle what we have did in previously erect a vertical line from the final front view because we just going to see from here okay now erect a horizontal line along with the, the point edges is there in the first diagram so the center so this point is o let us say it is o1 and you see here b is available here b is available so we will mark b here let it be b1 here c is available and here c is available let it c1 and d is available here d is available here let it be d1 similarly a is available a is available here a1 similarly f is available here e is available so that is e1 so now you connect everything it will gives you the final top view and here that hidden portion this portion the base portion may be hidden when you are seeing from the top you cannot able to see c2 d1 and you cannot able to see b1 to c1 you cannot able to see b1 to a1 remaining you can connect so now this edge you can see f e to o dash a d to o dash you can see b to c b to o c to o you cannot see and i can give a harder line for remaining known uh, strips okay now uh, is anything missing yeah this one you supposed to connect by a dotted line from b to o you cannot able to see from the top so it is must be dotted line so you see from you are seeing from the top these are all the dotted li uh, dotted lines which is hidden and edge strips remaining we can able to show in the harder line so this we can able to you can say this is a final top view that's it okay thanks